Easy guys, don't me from Cringy Dad Gaming. So in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can defeat Hayden from the game Mortal Shell. You'll have to duel this guy in order to be able to get the weapons that you'll come across with the statue holding. You, you just saw at the beginning of the video there, there's like this book that you have to interact with to be able to duel for the weapon that the statue next to it is holding. In this case, he's using the Martyr's Blade, has an extremely long reach on it. So you want to make sure that you're trying to keep a good distance. Uh, using the dodge ability the best you can. Now the great thing about Mortal Shell is you can actually harden yourself which he's just done there and what we want to do is wait until he's done it then use a powerful attack and then actually use our hardened shell ourselves in order to be able to avoid any damage. Yes, you can parry if you've got the ability to do that at this point in the game. However, it is extremely difficult to time it right in this situation. And you'll probably find that he hits you once or twice, you're pretty much dead. In this particular duel, I'd managed to figure it out where with a little bit of patience meant that I didn't take any damage whatsoever for the whole fight. So I'm sure you guys can probably take some tips from this. I am relatively low level, I'd only probably been playing the game for about an hour once I'd got to this point and the actual shell that I'm wearing at the moment is one that I'd not long picked up, it's the Acolyte shell, it has very little armour but as you can see it gives you a lot of stamina which means you can dodge uh, quite a lot which is really important for me how I play uh, my play style. I just think being slow and cumbersome is not really going to work. Like this guy's slow in his movements because of the heaviness of the weapon he's using. We can use that to our advantage. Once he's done a lot of those heavy swings, there is a moment where he stops dead in his tracks for a split second, which is usually long enough to be able to get a heavy strike in and then move. He'll also do that move where he runs at you. You can usually just dodge that. What you tend to find though is if you try and hit him first he is going to use his hardening technique in order to be able to ricochet your weapon off of him which then leaves you vulnerable. So I tend to find it's best actually to wait for him to do his move before you then go in with a heavy strike and then use your hardened ability to be able to harden yourself. It is just a matter of being patient, rinsing and repeating but I found that that was the best option for me so press the attack button just slightly first before you then harden yourself up with that ability then once he's hit you you will then strike immediately after and if you just keep doing that for the whole process you should pretty much defeat him relatively easy i say it's relatively easy it looks easier than it actually is but it is all a matter of using that wonderful ability to be able to harden yourself and then use the dodging abilities at the right time it is a little long-winded. In this type of game, you tend to find a lot of bosses, they do take time. I am, believe it or not, quite an impatient person. And I tend to find these sorts of things extremely painful with my attention span. Uh, I am one of these people where I just want to go in and hack and slash. And in this game, it's not going to work. Like any games like this, you know, all those other kind of like hardcore action RPGs, you know, Dark Souls, Neo, Surge, Hellpoint, all those. You've got to have that level of patience, otherwise you're not going to pull it off, unfortunately. You know, I think this battle probably took over five minutes in total. There's probably going to be quicker ways of doing it. There's probably going to be lots of other techniques that you guys are going to have, and feel free to share those techniques and tips in the comments in the video below to be able to help other players who may be using different weapons and different armor pieces to be able to figure it out. This is just one way of doing it, and you may take some tips from this. The game was only released today, which is August the 18th, 2020. So I'm really enjoying it so far. It's definitely a lot harder than any of the other games that I've played in this genre. 
I've played all the Dark Souls games and I have to say that this is harder than that in my personal opinion. At least uh, for the points of the game I'm at at the moment. I do think though, once you've leveled up some of you player's skills and maybe got some different armor types and weapons that you can switch between then you may find that the game becomes a little bit easier once you figure it out but it's like anything in this genre it's all about figuring out how it works figuring out the enemy's moves what they're weak to what the best weapon and armor type is for the situation ahead i'm still getting my head around this game and it's probably going to take me a while before i fully understand the core of the mechanics but once i do there's going to be plenty of tips videos coming your way so, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and just watch this space for more Mortal Shell. So I'll catch you guys on another video, and thanks for watching. You're ready for this. Yo, who's the daddy?